So you just finished fueling up your vehicle, you get back inside, start up the engine, only to have it stall once it starts up, or it runs very rough and you may need to give the engine a little bit of gas to keep it from stalling for a short period of time before the engine idles fine. In this video I'm going to show you which part is the most likely cause and how to properly test that part. Okay, let's get started. The part of interest is called a purge valve. The purpose of the purge valve is to take some of the fuel vapors from the charcoal canister and allow those vapors to be drawn into the engine to be burned. Sometimes the valve may not function properly causing starting problems or rough idle. The valve opens and closes using a solenoid. Sometimes the valve does not open or close fully. Normally the valve gradually opens as the engine is warmed up. This valve can be found connected to your vehicle's intake plenum which is right back there, that aluminum section. So let me give you a closer look at my intake plenum and show you where the valve is located. Okay, right over here is my purge valve. You can see the electrical connector. On each end there's a hose. Let me disconnect it from the vehicle and we'll take a closer look. Okay, this is the purge valve from my vehicle. On this end you can see there's an electrical connector, two pins. And on this side here, this connects to the intake manifold. That's where the vacuum is going to be pulled from. And this side here heads over to the charcoal canister or the fuel tank. So when you test this, we're going to be applying a vacuum on this end. But before I do that, I want to take a look at this connector here. We're going to be doing a resistance measurement. You want to make sure that this is not open circuit. So you're going to put your digital multimeter to a low ohms range. Around 200 should be fine. And you're going to probe the two pins. When you do that, you should have a very low reading, like you're about to see. And you can see this one's right around 27 ohms. Yours should be a little higher, a little lower, but in that general range. If you check using a digital multimeter and you have no resistance showing up at all, that would indicate that the solenoid or the winding inside here is open and you're going to have to replace it. Now to really test it good, you're going to need a hand-operated vacuum pump like you see right here. These are extremely useful when working on vehicles, testing different sensors, and you can pick them up online very inexpensively. I'll place a link in the video description area if you'd like to purchase one after watching this video. If you don't want to purchase one, you can also go over to your local auto parts store and they usually will rent them to you for free. You're going to take the hand vacuum pump and you're going to connect it up to the purge valve. You're going to identify the side connected to the intake manifold, which is right here. Connect this on. Then you're going to take the hand pump and you're going to pump this all the way up. And that's uh, 27, 28 inches of mercury. That looks pretty good. We're going to leave it right there. Now when the valve is working properly, this needle should not be moving. It should stay exactly where it is if no voltage is being applied to the solenoid. So I'm going to lay this down for a minute, turn the gauge that way. You can see right there. Now I'm going to take some jumper wires and connect them up to the solenoid. One pin and the other pin. Lay that down. Take these ends right here and I'm going to touch them to this battery. Now when I touch it to the battery, it should cause this to open fully and you'll see the vacuum immediately bleed off. So let's take a look. Here we go. And you heard a little puff coming out of this end. That indicates the purge valve is working properly. The test does not get any simpler than this. There's no reason to go out and buy one to see if it actually was the problem when you can test it just the way I showed you. Hopefully my video saves you a lot of trouble when trying to diagnose the problem with your vehicle. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs.